Hi guys, this is Matthias, and in this video I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the game Rust. And um, as most of you guys already know, I started playing this game about a month ago, and um, I haven't been uploading all that many videos about it, and the reason why I haven't uploaded that many videos about it is that I don't really know how to cover this game yet. So far, the only thing I've been doing in this game, or mostly, is uh, understanding how the game works. Um, I'm trying to learn um, everything that there is to know about crafting or everything that I am interested in when it comes to crafting and a lot of that uh, is of course base building. Now of course I could make videos about base building but first and foremost at this point in time I don't really know it that well and um, I don't want to uh, make videos about base building that shows any of the bases as long as we are active at that base. Now, the way I'm playing the game now is uh, quite similar to how I played uh, H1C1 uh, the first few months. And as much as I think that most of you guys who follow my channel, you do that for the PvP videos that I try to upload as much as possible. But uh, I haven't always played H1C1 that way. As a matter of fact, I was more of a role player and more of a scavenger and explorer in the beginning that could actually go weeks without me killing a single person in H1C1, which is quite similar to how I'm playing Rust right now. Now one of the similarities between H1C1 and Rust when it comes to base building is that if you want to build a relatively secure and big base, you have to spend a lot of time collecting material for that base. But that is about the only thing that is similar uh, when it comes to the base building between these two games. And as much as I'm new to Rust and as much as I have a lot to learn about the base building in this game, initially I have to say that the base building is over 10 times more interesting and more fun in Rust than in H1C1. It really doesn't even compare. Building bases in Rust allows you to use your creativity and your freedom a lot more. And it is a lot more fun. But I also want to point out that I'm just sharing my opinion about it. And the fact that I have played H1C1 for such a long time and I am kind of bored with the whole base building system and the negative effects that bases have on the servers. I'm talking about the FPS drops. Um, this has affected my opinions about bases quite heavily in H1C1 and in uh, Rust, the base building is new, I'm learning new stuff, so keep that in mind, and I'm not in any way saying that in order to try to influence your opinion about these two games, I just uh, I, I just would be lying if I said anything else, that's, that's all there is to it. And what Jesus is doing here is that we want to place these uh, quarries, is what they're called, and kind of funny as it is, I'm not sure if, uh, if this is normal, but whenever I have placed quarries in order to get material like this, um, normally we already have a functioning base up and running, but uh, in order to uh, increase the security and in order to expand on the base, the bigger the base is, the more material you need to make it even bigger or more secure. So if you're interested in base building and you're interested in getting into it in Rust, you need to be prepared for the fact that you need to spend a lot of time grinding for material. That's just how this game works. As you can see in the background, we had already finished the base that is quite big before we were able to uh, start placing down these quarries. It takes a while before you find them, and even once you have the blueprint for a quarry, at this point in time they require 10,000 wood and 1,750 uh, metal fragments, and then I think also 500 cloth, and that is quite a lot. What you see here is that my teammate is placing quarry charges and that is in order to find what part of the ground that actually has the material or the resources that we are looking for. Uh, one of them uh, being high quality metal ore. That's the most important uh, for most players, I believe. It, it depends. But high quality metal is required in order to make weapons and also the strongest upgrades for your buildings. Now the server that you see us playing on here has been wiped, there's been an update and that's why some of the things that you see here looks a bit different compared to when you're playing the game right now. As far as I know though, nothing was changed to base building, at least not anything significant that I could tell. And the way I play the game and the way I'm trying to learn the game is still the same. You find anything good? I would... We need a lot of... Ah, but sulfur is easy to find though. Oh, yeah, I found it. Alright, nice. I have some fuel. Uh, don't put too far. Huh? Uh, only put fuel in it when we're really high quality metal, because you camp this one or we need to make a wall around it. 
The other one here is close to our base, so it's to the front. Yeah, but fuck it, let's go. Oh, it's wait. It's just a little, little fuel, right? Not fast. It takes huh? like ten hours or something. Yeah, but to get something good. Oh, uh -huh, okay. But I just put like uh, I just put like forty fuel in because that's what I I have. It's gonna stop, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, if you want to stop it, you just uh, take out the fuel, right? Yeah, but everyone can come by and steal it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, that's a risk you have to take either way, right? And if you want to... Protect yeah, we'll protect it. Maybe this is gonna bring in some action. Tell the rest of the plebs to join in. See, about the update, I uh, just want to mention here, you just recently saw me eat bear meat in order to heal after I jumped down from the quarry. Uh, I ate it raw, and after the update that I'm talking about, you can't do or well, after the update you actually can cook the bear meat, something that you couldn't do when this was recorded. And I'm not entirely sure yeah. of what's going to happen to you if you eat the bear meat raw now. Uh, inside, you'll right? probably get food poison or something similar. But cooking the bear meat now is going to give you some really decent food. Um, you just have to make sure that you don't die when you're trying to kill that bear, because they are quite dangerous. So as some of you guys probably know, I made a couple of beginner's guides for H1Z1 just a few days before releasing this video, and I felt quite comfortable making H1Z1 beginner's guides because I'm very familiar with that game. At the same time, I realized when I made the video that I forgot a few things that was quite important when you were new to the game, but that isn't as really important for someone like me who has about 2000 hours into the game, and I did forget some things because of that reason. So perhaps I actually should make a beginner's guide of uh, uh, Rust now that the game is new to me as well. I'm starting to get the hang of how to get into the game and get started when I'm new to a server, and um, maybe I have a few tips that I could share. Let me know in the comment section below if that's something you're interested in. Now, I haven't built any of the bases that you see in this video. Instead, I have been part of collecting the material. What I've done quite a few times, though, is that I have uh, taken over an already raided base and made it my starter base, so to speak, if that base has uh, some stuff in it that is valuable. Uh, meaning um, some foundations, some walls, and a furnace, preferably. Tommy, on the other hand, I'm sure you're familiar with him if you've been following my channel for a while. He has come quite a lot further when, he's, uh, when it comes to base building than I have. And uh, there are quite a number of guides for it, and there are also specific servers where you can uh, try out your base design and see if it works the way you want it to. So yeah, the way things are right now, I'll be switching between the games H1Z1 and Rust. I'll try as best as I can to upload some interesting gameplay from both games. It might be a little bit hard, but uh, again, um, any suggestions, any tips, any requests, please share that in the comment section below, and I'll see what I can do about it. So now for the last part of this video, starting at about 9.45, you will see the first time that I get up on top of the sphere, which is one of the more insignificant parts of the Rust map. So I will let the video continue here, and I want to thank you all for watching. What are all these poles for? You're gonna, you're gonna tie people up here? So you have to stand here with your hands and your legs tied, and then you whip them. Is that, is that what this is? You're so fucking dirty, I don't want to know. Yeah. Spanking poles, huh? There's only 12 of them. Yeah, man. Whoa, shit! Oh, I almost fell down in, in that little gap there. I don't know if I fit there. What, what's the deal with this place? What? What's the deal with this place? You need to get somewhere and get more better loot or? Uh, yep. We got inside. Where should we show? Yeah, actually. There's another two for me. Yeah. You, you go up here? 
Uh, don't take your weapons out when you're parkouring, because you don't jump. Yeah, like you jump uh, further if you don't have your gun there. Oh, okay. Oh, you now you told me. Then there's a barrel, you can get that. Then you go further up here. Jump on this. Downstairs. Here. Then you have to go up here. Uh, then you go in here. Yeah. Oh! Uh, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm spicy, I can handle this. You just uh, walk up the ladder here, or? Uh, well, th normally there's... Uh, uh, actually, wait, come back down. Oh wait, I'm uh, gonna no, loot no, this. No, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, blueprints. Nice, and up. Jack o lantern angry. A lantern place you use. Okay. Uh, usually, you jump down here, because there's loot here, and then you go up there. Like, the ladder is not there, it's player always. I okay. get the player put it there. Right. Jimmy. Okay. Yeah, just go up the ladder again. Yeah. Oh, that's, there's another barrel here. Do we go for it? Below? Nah, it's, it's ah. a bit triggered. Yeah, okay. But who's that behind Spicy? That's, um... That's uh -huh. the real... This is the real Spicy. <laughs> okay. Then <laughs> 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 oh. you yeah, go up here. I'll I'll be watching this place. Yeah, on this barrel. Then you usually have to jump up here. Cross that ladder. Oh fuck, it doesn't exist. <laughs> okay, there's oh, a... How much have you played this game already, Cody? Hello? <laughs> yeah. Where are you, Chala? I'm just down here, I'm coming up anymore. There's nothing. Dangerous Then you have, to, then Danger. you have to jump on the pipes on this? This is dangerous. Wait, 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 wait. I lost you there for a moment. Ah, spicy. Yeah, that's it. Uh, oh, it's only spicy. Look at that. Well, um, <laughs> I think I'm... Am I... Did I lose you? Oh, there you are. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you have to jump on that shit. So on the left side or the right side? On the right, like on those pipes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and then you just run and spin. Spin jump. Not yeah. jump. Oh yeah, spin jump. Yeah, yeah. You go in here. Actually, you have to run over this. This is so easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then there's some more loot up here, like where this one point is. Actually, why didn't you guys reset this thing? There's cards. What? What there was in here. Are we, gonna st are we gonna stay here until it comes back, or...? Uh, uh you, you have to kinda jump at the very end of this. Okay, this is gonna kill me, right? If I fall down? Uh, uh yeah, you're gonna go down. Okay. Uh, so you don't block each other. <laughs> you have to, uh, like, sprint and then jump. Yeah, exactly yeah. Like Damn, son! Oh, the fur fell yeah. down. My and there's this barrel roll yeah. up here. Yeah, I'm actually a jacket. Oh, I, I can craft jackets so. though. Um, jacket. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> jacket. And then you have like the very top. Okay. Uh, also, if you see crates, always take the shit out of them. And if you don't need it, then drop it on the ground so it resets. Yeah. What the fuck? Didn't you say this got looted? Because there's stuff up here. It was looted. Well, why I didn't go? I didn't go that high. Damn, wood shutters. Ooh, it's incendiary 556, I know. Yep! Nice, it's a blueprint. Oh, nice, nice, nice. And then you jump down here again. There is, oh, there is no easy way down. Oh, I know. Yeah, I understand what you mean. <laughs> Mati! What? Have you done this before? No, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> what? <laughs> nice! What? what? It's <laughs> the stuck, we cannot go down the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I can Brain. just jump down, right? Or... Do it! Uh, well, well if you just jump down, you're probably going to die. If you 
Actually, that was the easy way down. I keep forgetting this shit. Wait, there, there's another way. I uh, I think I I because if you if you jump, you can just jump. Let's go back up. No damage. Uh, okay. Did you do that really? There's another way down. But... Yeah, you can you can <laughs> jump from all the way on top if you like uh, slide down and hit those small railings. You can uh, jump all the way down without the damage. Yeah, you've okay. Done you've done you've done that. Yeah. If yeah. you miss, you die. Yeah. Oh, okay. If, if you're good like me, then you. Do you mean from where you come up or what? No, uh, it was totally on accident. Wait, you I'll, I'll, I'll uh, come yeah. up and show you. Where are, are you? you guys? Yeah, but Yala, uh, you. I went down where we came up from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yala, you died the first time you tried to get up here, though. No, you didn't die. You, you mean here? Yeah, where are you? Oh, actually, that's quite. Oh, yeah, wait. I forgot to show you one thing. That's shushy. What? I, I lost you, Kuni, again. Yeah, fuck you, Kuni. Uh, I'm, I'm in the middle. I went down. Yeah, yeah, like, I see where we came from. It's it's a little bit hard to re to re like remember which way we went down because everything <laughs> looks the same here. I'm going down, okay. but it's by no way no way that it's the same way that we came up. There's another way outside. Oh my god! I'm gonna I'm gonna jump and fall here. <laughs> I, look if you, I just jump. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone help me. But what? It would be great if this game actually made you jump when you press space. Yeah, then you press it too late. Hey! Hey! Fuck! Hey! Oh, I'm, my health is going up slowly. Yeah, yeah, that's when you're... <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you're good on food. Oh. Uh, Matty, look up. You probably also dropped the thing you had in your hand. Wait, look Help. at you. I'm stuck. From the middle you have to go on those thingies and then there's another loot box on those things. I'm so stuck. Oh, but that, that's kind of, if you have a lot of bear meat and shit, the fastest way down is just to have a guy and, <laughs> below <laughs> to just help you up again. 